What's up, YouTube? I might use this video to start a new channel. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. I might rename the channel, seeing as I'm not racing anymore. It won't be Ballistic Off-Road Racing. I'd love to get back into that someday, but at the moment, I cannot just make it feasible. Um, I hope everybody's been doing great. I know I haven't made a video in quite a while, and this video is kind of getting back out there and just letting you guys know I'm alive, uh, maybe address a couple things here. First off, make sure you like and subscribe down below, and like I said, I'm going to have more videos coming. I'm hoping to do some reviews of, you know, firearms related stuff. I've got a couple things I'm working on right now that may happen, may not, so I don't want to, like, throw anything out there now and get you guys excited, but... My company, Noise Ordnance LLC, is going to be doing some great stuff. I've got some great products that I'm designing right now. And hopefully, by the end of this year, we can have some stuff start rolling out. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, always leave them down below. Uh, one thing I wanted to address, though, is on the political side of things and with our gun rights and everything that's very important um, at the NRA uh, convention President Trump signed a order getting us out of the UN arms uh, treaty and that is excellent news for everybody but I attended his rally in Green Bay the other day and it was a great event there's a lot of misinformation going around out there I did not see one protester the entire time I was there and I know I brought my son with, uh, he's six, Max and six now, and he asked to come with and see the president, and I was not going to tell him no, so I was happy to bring him with, and he had a great time, uh, got himself recorded, hopefully, uh, possibly be used in the upcoming campaign videos, so we'll see what happens there, but, yeah, I did not see any protesters down there, and the crowd was huge. I got there about 9.30 in the morning, and there was probably 1,500 people in front of me, maybe 2,000, and the line started filling up fast. I couldn't have got there at a better time, really. Um, the crowd, I think, from what I was told, there's an overflow crowd outside watching on the big screen, and I mean, that's great news. Because even though everybody couldn't get inside, if you got more people showing up than you can fit inside, that's amazing news. The president said that they gave out 69,000 tickets to the event. And only about 12, 13,000 people can fit in the arena. So I don't know that there were 69,000 people there, but I would guess there was at least 20,000 when I started going in, maybe 30,000. So... When the media is coming out and saying that there was dozens of protesters there, that's lie. That's a straight up lie. Don't listen to it. The president did a great job. Um, his son did a great job. Uh, his campaign manager talked for a little bit, and he seemed like a great guy. I think he's doing the right things here. I think 2020 is going to be a great year. I think the president's going to win re-election without too much of a hard time, but we'll see, because we all know how the Democrats like to cheat, and so as long as it's a fair election, I think the president's going to do well. Um, obviously, Beto and Bernie and everybody had their rallies this weekend and got about 30 people to show up at them in Las Vegas, so doing good there. Congratulations, guys. But, yeah, other than that... Um, I'm trying to keep the channel more firearms related, but I'm not scared to get into political issues either because everybody knows where I stand politically. I'm not shy and like it or hate it. That's who I am. Um, yeah. So questions, comments down below, make sure you like, and subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos soon. So stay tuned.